the Igigi are mythological figures found within the mythology of Mesopotamia. Though sometimes synonymous with the term Anunnaki, there is only one myth where the Igigi were the younger beings. Here they were servants of the Anunnaki until they rebelled and were replaced by the creation of humans. Sometimes synonymous, sometimes refers to more than once. One myth is one account, so more often than not, the Igigi are synonymous with the Anunnaki. Synonymous is a word or phrase having the same meaning as another word or phrase in the same language. The Agigi were half human, half animal. I'm sure that poses a problem. Humans were created after the Agigi. The workers were semi-intelligent, the others not, referring to humans. It is their spirit what modern men call demons, or those who were never human. We are told, but we do not listen. There are around 2,000 accounts of the Anunnaki. The Igigi are simply a variant. The true aim is to push the Seven forward in order to raise them to a higher status. Akkadian Paradise is described as a garden in the myth of Atrahasis, where the lower rank deities are put to work digging a watercourse by the more senior deities, the Anunnaki. When the gods, man-like, bore the labour, carried the load, the gods' load was great. Oh my word, it is Saint Christopher. The gods' load was great, the toil grievous, the trouble excessive, the great Anunnaku, the Seven, were making the Agigu undertake the toil. The Agigi then rebel against the dictatorship of Enlil, setting fire to their tools, surrounding Enlil's great house by night. On hearing that the toil on the irrigation channel is the reason for the disquiet, the Anunnaki Council decide to create man to carry out the agricultural labour. Most believe that Enki creating man is a good thing but it is actually enslaving mankind via story. Slaves were a valuable asset in Mesopotamia. Humans are labelled as a subspecies below these demons who combined are a spirit. The name Egigi has unknown origin. Igi means I in the Sumerian language, and it is used as a logogram in the Akkadian language. Gi stands for penetrate sexually, reminding me of Tiawaf being impregnated by Abzu, creating Mamu, the Logos, the Voice. There are two meanings for to deflower. The second meaning is more appropriate, to take away the prime beauty of. 
therefore the Yagigi could be translated to Eyes in the Sky, the Watchers Who Deflower. So the variant meaning of the Yagigi is Eyes in the Sky, the Watchers Who Take Away the Prime Beauty of leaving the gate open for many possibilities, none of which are good. The D-Flower, Mamu, the voice. The other variant was Igigu, which removes the Gi and replaces it with Gu, voice, which is also synonymous with Zu. The variant meaning would be the voice of the watchers, the eyes in the sky, and of course this is divinely inspired. Igigi is synonymous with Anunnaki. Anunnaki is synonymous with the biblical Mematem. Mematem synonymous with Malak. Atrahasis with Adramelech, all of which are synonymous with the later Angel of the Lord, the right hand and voice of God. They are watchers who take away the prime beauty of God. This is undeniable because the Anunnaki are poison personified, and the Angel of the Lord is a poison, a curse. The term Malak was used to alter narratives, used to take away the prime beauty, or to take away our voice meaning the narrative of the people. Removing the oral history, replacing it with the seven.